Yo, does. Yo. Quote of the day. Have no expectations to avoid disappointment. Okay, okay. Yo, Glenn. Yo. Quote of the day. Stand guard at the door of your mind. Protect your mental. Okay, okay. Yo, as. Yo, my bro. Quote of the day. Um, love what you have, for life teaches you to love what you've lost. Okay. Yo, Hardy. Yes, bro. Quote of the day. Don't settle for less just because it's pain. Okay, okay. Yo, what look? What I'm baby love? Quote of the day. Quote of the day. The meaning of life is to give life meaning. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yo, Ty. Yo. Quote of the day. <sighs> Wish it, want it, believe it. Okay. Yo, D way. Yo. Quote of the day. You put your mind to anything, you will achieve it. Okay, okay. I'm done! I'm done! <laughs> Listen to this. Like, no one likes me, Harry. It's no, not about no, listening no, to no, this. No. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That's a mad motherfucker. Hey, you That's my motherfucker. Of course I'm getting angry behind the phone, but you can't talk to my face, I'll bow you in your neck. How about that, bro? I'll push in your eye, you waste man. But that's 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 the now that's 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 the energy I need. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm He messaged me again. He actually sounds kind of chill, David. What did he say? Sup. Okay. Pussy. I will knock your ass out.
I just gave you an opportunity of a lifetime, brother. And I'd be damned I'd be disrespected like this. Telling me you're going to get me pregnant is not a compliment, bitch. It's a threat on my life and I will treat it as such. And I will block you and I will never speak to you again. Don't fucking play with me. What's this? Huh? What's this? Have you ever wondered why attractive women tend to be batshit crazy? They may get jealous and possessive over innocent acts such as uh, nights out, holidays, starting a new workplace. There's actually a reason for this. It's because attractive women tend to see men at their worst. This might be the fact that wherever they go, whether it's the gym, the worst, they get hit on by men. They may have also witnessed men who are in committed relationships or marriages willing to risk it all in order to be with them. So they develop an association between men and infidelity. Because less attractive women are less likely to come across this type of behavior, they have a sense of naivety about what men do when they're at their worst. Whereas attractive women get an insight that leaves them feeling very insecure due to their own personal experiences. Message for your ex. Uh, fuck you. Oh, a message for your ex. Fuck you. Suck my fat cock. <laughs> what did he say? Hey. For your ex. Yeah, I do. Go on. You still owe me money. Oh, how much? Twenty k. <laughs> ex, your ex boyfriend, ex husband. Did you have a message? Oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> you'll, you'll be like, ah, fuck, I'm cool. A message for your ex. Um, I don't have one. Oh my god, you're so lovely. A message for your ex. Whoa, <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> the fuck? Excuse me, message to your ex. <laughs> Go on. Well, that's your ex. Huh? That's your yeah. ex. In about five minutes. <laughs> oh, dick, you suck it. Move, 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 move. Talking to me like I want to hear it. I'm sick. Mm, that's delicioso. The fuck out of my face. You know what I mean? I bet you my woman is crazier than yours. So, uh, that's Cap. Because I'm pretty sure my girl's way crazier than any other female out there. Uh, she picked up and packed up all of her shit overnight and moved 2,332 miles across the country from South Carolina all the way out to Arizona just to be with me after we've been together for a month and a half. Knowing I was going through a divorce, knowing I've been traumatized, knowing I'm insecure, knowing I'm dealing with all types of like emotional, mental, all types of issues. And she came in and she just loved me and hugged me and held me down and built me up better than anybody else I've ever had before in my life. Literally picked up her entire life not knowing anybody over here, getting away from everything she was comfortable from, from, everything she ever knew was home to come all the way out here for just for me to make a completely different home. Like, that's insane. Like, you can't tell me that anybody else is more crazy than that, right? And that's why I love her so much. And, you know, she got my name tattooed on her and then forced me, like, held me at gunpoint to get her name tattooed on my chest. I didn't do this willingly. Y'all think I did this willingly? No. I did this because she made me do it. She made... That's our hand.
could have sworn I was dreaming For her I was fainting So I had to take a little ride Backtracking on these feet Mmm, that's delicioso. The fuck out of my face! You know what I mean? I just think girls really need to understand that like you need to be your own person before getting into a relationship with someone yeah because... people's whole identity sometimes is their relationship and yeah. their boyfriend like people especially ethnic people because i guess like some girls some asian girls just disappear like once they're yeah. in a relationship you're not hearing from them they do not exist like they don't care about their friends like it's just relationships sure. and right. then eventually it would come to a point where you've lost all, lost all your friends you're kind of over the honeymoon period now and it's just a bit mad you know yeah, it really is i think i was yeah i was gonna say a lot of people their relationship is their identity but that i think is linked very much to our society and how not society our culture or how men are kind of as soon as you get married or you have a boyfriend it's like oh you're the da -da -da's husband or girlfriend i get that a lot mm. but it's like oh you're the da -da -da's wife and i'm like <laughs> i have a name yeah, I'm a reader. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I have a name. But that's, it's like your identity becomes them to an mm. extent, which is really fucked up. But you have to like, yeah, try, try and separate yourself. I always, always do. To be I fair. think you're, yeah, you're quite good at it. Like yeah. you have your own life, but then. But then I think it's because of the person who I chose.